few better places in the country weather-wise this time of year than this one right here. Tampa, Florida at beautiful Raymond James Stadium. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one as it'll be the New England Patriots taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. So out come the Bucs now. Now a third-round pick a year ago. Here's Rashad White. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. And the ball on the 30. Here's second and four. Now Mayfield. And that's complete. It's Chris Godwin. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That's good for a Buccaneer first to pick up of 12 yards. So the completion there, but Charles, looking at this defense, certainly in for a tough task here this afternoon. What are some of the keys for them if they want to come out on top? Well, the first thing, partner, is they just allowed a completion there. They don't want to get a string of those going. Let him get his confidence. Let him get into the rhythm of the game, the flow of the game, and all of a sudden, he's feeling like he can do no wrong. You want to really get after his timing a little bit, knock a few balls away, and make things uncomfortable for him, because if he feels relaxed, you are in for a tough afternoon. They go play action. Mayfield. And a dump off to White. Was that a receiver? <laughs> yeah, actually it was. It was a running back who was a receiver on the play. Ike's been spending time in the receiver drills getting his feet down. Well, those guys out of the backfield, they got to be good, agile with their feet. He showed the agility there with a toe tap. No doubt about it. It's like he'd went to ballet school, got the toes down, and stayed in bounds. On third down, Mayfield. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 41-yard line. Well, on third down, he wanted to go to one of his most dependable targets, and that's who he found, his tight end there, to pick up the first, Charles. And he used the proper word there, dependable, and sometimes spectacular, because tight ends nowadays, they can do it all. But they're the guys you trust, especially across the middle of the field where there's traffic. He delivers, and they pick up nice yardage. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Ball on the 36 now. Here's a second and five. Mayfield on play action. Open man, it's Palmer. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. Here's Mayfield. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Touchdown! Mike Evans, 37 yards. And the Buccaneers get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Well, Charles, here in their opening series, they said they had certain plays scripted for certain players. That looked like a well-designed play to get one of their top targets involved. Yeah, let's face it, Brandon. A player of his talent is a problem for any opponent to defend, and we saw it right there. They tried to deny an open lane to him. He still outplayed the coverage and scored the early touchdown. Good luck trying to figure out how to defend him as this game moves on.
Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. Here comes Montgomery now to return it. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. New England's offense set to go. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at their own 22. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Short pass caught by Henry. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll give him a short yardage situation here for second down. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. A thousand yard rusher a year ago. Here's Ramon Ray Stevenson. That good for 19 and a first down. Oftentimes, broken tackles are his specialties. And <laughs> put another one on his tally there. Yeah, no doubt about it. One-on-one, -on -one, not likely to get him down. You need everyone else to get there and help you. I think they were signaling for you and I to jump on the pile and try and get him down, weren't they? You don't want me out there, I promise you. Back to Stevenson on first down. They find some open field here. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 42 yards rushing for him now in his first two carries of the ball game. So back-to-back -back big runs, picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the <laughs> era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. And they didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. They had their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Here's second and ten. Throwing Jones. To the sideline and incomplete. But it looked like a march to the end zone. He's had a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Now Jones. He completes it to Henry. And they're going to stop him short of the first down as he's tackled at about the 21. And now a pause. It looks like we have a Patriot injured on the play. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. Back to throw again. That is caught. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Some collective exhales over there on the sideline. A big pickup through the air on fourth down to bring up first and goal. What an excellent end result for them. But let's go back to the decision, first of all to go for it all on fourth down. A lot of pressure on the quarterback's shoulders, but they knew he could handle it. Makes the right read there, gets the ball to his receiver. They get the first down. It's now first and goal. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. And, Brad, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line because ordinarily you use the back end of the end zone, the sidelines as extra defenders, and you want bigger people on the field to try and help against the run. Second down and goal. Jones. And that throw behind his man. He missed him. Incomplete. Now we got third and goal coming up. And couldn't you imagine being in that level, partner? You know they're looking at each other saying, we can't come away with just three points after this drive. Yeah, they've covered a lot of ground. They want more than that three. From the two-yard line yet again. Let's see what they can do on third and goal. Elliott. And Elliott 
Hart trying to work his way forward, but it looks like he did not make it. What a stand so far defensively, and now that's going to bring up a fourth and goal. This is a long drive offensively. Wouldn't you hate to end this with just three points? Doesn't it feel like during a ball game you have certain narratives going on and there's certain drives that seem to take on just a bit more importance than others? This feels like one of those, doesn't it? To me, three points here, a major letdown. This is the time to go and put six on the board. Ezekiel Elliott unable to punch it in. And the Bucks defense, they'll celebrate the goal line stand. Well, I guess they wanted to get that touchdown right back on their first drive, but failed to do so. And what they have to be careful of is pushing so hard to stay right there, to stay even with their opponent, that they gas themselves out. You know, it's almost like horse racing. Sometimes you don't want to take your horse right to the front and let him do all the work, and then someone catch him at the end and pass him up. You want to make sure you moderate what you're doing along the way and then go for the big finish. His first carry of their second drive, pretty solid. And, of course, remember back to their first drive, really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hurtling through them. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter now in Tampa Bay. It's the Buccaneers in control of the football as they've got it with a first and ten. Opting to run again here with White. And he'll get this up just shy of the 30. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. Wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Second and six, just inside the 30. They run straight ahead here with White. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 47 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. Well, if they continue to run the football this strong, right up the middle, I don't know if they can wait till halftime to make adjustments. They better find a way to get it done series to series. I don't know if they need to sub some guys out, bring in extra people, maybe change what they're doing on the defensive side of the ball. But right now, they're running the ball very well right at them and right up the middle. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, partner, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because he is just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into the game, they knew he would be the focal point of their attack. This is going to take an 11-man unit on the defensive side to start making plays. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old-school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense? Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. Meanwhile, Mayfield throw on target to Godwin here. And Godwin going to have a box first down as he'll get this down to the 36. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll go up the middle with White. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. When we call them run fits, everyone was in the right place. To throw Mayfield. And this is caught by Evans. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. Mayfield looks to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a box first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 
That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Now back to the ground game with White. And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the 5 on a pickup of 5. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. Now second and five. Up the middle, it's Vaughn. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Keyshawn Vaughn. A five-yard touchdown run. And the box go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. McLaughlin for the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. And no return from Montgomery. Bring it out to the 25. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. From the 29, Jones, and his throw here's incomplete. After watching him drop that slant, I can hear my old coach's voice ringing in my ears right now. You can't run with the ball until you catch it, trying to get those rack yards before he secured it. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Looking to throw, Jones. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Well, they've moved the ball okay here in these first two drives, but this one's going to, again, amount to nothing. They've got to start dialing up some plays that allow them to finish drives with points. So on fourth down, here's Bryce Beringer on to punt for the Patriots. Back deep for the Bucks is Devin Tompkins. That'll be a 43-yard punt, just a single yard on the return. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. It has been about as perfect of a start to this game as these guys could have asked for, Charles. They've scored on their first two drives. They still haven't given anything up on the other side of the ball, so they can already make this a three-score game here if they can come away with points on this drive. Yeah, they're almost pushing them to the brink, aren't they, partner? Almost to the point now where it's a loss of words for me, which I know would excite all of our viewers, but you're just now supposed to see that type of dominance so quickly in a game like this. Everything they've done has been working so far. Offense, defense, you name it, it's going well for them. On second down, they'll run with White. 
four yards the pickup, first down. Sometimes I get almost mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, those eyes that carry their feet to open spaces, make people miss. I just love watching those guys go to work. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Throwing, Mayfield. Throw left side, complete. That's Evans. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. That's good for a Buccaneer first to pick up of 12 yards. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Now the Bucs going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Two yards to go, second down. Mayfield now. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. Defensively, celebration time because they finally <laughs> forced an incompletion. He was perfect throwing the ball to that point. Yeah, but from his viewpoint, they didn't force the incompletion. He just missed. That's how hot he is right now, and that's how he wants to continue to throw the ball. Mayfield on third and two. This is White on the screen. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It's a gain of eight, and it'll wind up moving the chains. And that's a gutsy call there on third and short because that's a play that's got a good chance of being blown up in the backfield for a big loss of yardage. But nice job out wide to gather in that screen pass, use his blockers well, and pick up the first down. And again, it's Mayfield. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. It actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. On the draw, it's White. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. As the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. Okay. Got to get to the 26 for a first. This is third down. Mayfield to throw it. This is caught by Evans. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with an eyelash. Dropped at the one. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the left hash, he'll have to cut this at a tight angle. And his kick is indeed good. So three points on the board, as easy a field goal as you're going to get, but I can see you shaking your head. I love that peripheral vision of yours, partner, because to me, if it's the fourth quarter and you're up six, I get it. But now, even if you run and don't get in, you're still setting them up to go a long field, 98, 99-yard drive. How do you look at your defense and not give them that opportunity? So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. Yeah. 
So we've hit halftime here in Tampa with a box out in front. As we send you a stone throw away across I-4 to Orlando, there standing by is Jonathan Coachman, ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, this fielded right at the goal line. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Here comes the Patriots' offensive unit. They'll have it first here to begin the third quarter. We'll see, Charles, if they had a chance to hit the reset button at halftime. They have not scored. They're facing this big deficit. And if they're going to come back, it's going to have to start right now. Yeah, and for them, it's not dwelling in the negative because, yes, they were totally ineffective in the first half. But we've seen many games that have flipped around in the second half. It all starts with this drive right here. They get something good going, put some points on the board. They begin to have hope. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. And result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game. Or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. Meanwhile, Jones throw taken in by Thornton. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football, and right now I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. On first and 10, Jones. That's complete yet again to Thornton. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Now a second and two. Off play action, Jones. Finding Henry here on the crossing route. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. A gain there of 21 yards. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They looked like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. Jones throw into the hands of Henry here. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. He's been a one-man wrecking crew these last couple of plays. This time, 18 more and a first down. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Here's Stevenson. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. This is a critical sequence here for this offense. Things really haven't gone their way so far. This could be their chance to get back into it, but they've got to find a way to punch this ball in. On second and goal, Jones. There's Henry. Touchdown, Patriots. It's a six-yard touchdown pass. And the Pats are able to cut into this lead as they score on the opening drive of the second half. That's a score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Back out is the kicker, Ryland, and he'll send this one away. From the end zone, here's Devin Tompkins. 
And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Here comes the Buccaneers offense. They get their first reps of the second half. Now they were terrific in the first half, built up a sizable lead, and it's just been cut into a bit following the opening drive score on the other side. But this is a unit that has to be itching to get the football again. You could say that again. They've got to be pretty eager because, let's face it, they've had to sit through halftime, then sit on the sidelines and watch that drive. So you can bet that they're saying, let's get on with this. we got to go out there and get some more points. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Mayfield. He gets it over the middle to Palmer. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A gain there of 21 yards. That's another beautiful throw right there. Gets it to his man right in stride. And I think that throw kind of exemplifies what we've seen from this offense throughout this game. They've been in rhythm. They've been sharp. They've been on it. And they pick up another first down there. They go play action. Mayfield. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. He couldn't get rid of it. He takes a sack for a loss of six to bring up second down. I think a lot of time when we see a sack, you say, well, you blame it on the offensive line, the quarterback, but here, maybe you just tip your hat to the defender. What a play. Yeah, and I think sometimes they just get a sense of the play before the ball's even snapped. Kind of like a sprinter anticipating the gun in a race. They're off, and guess what? The quarterback's down. A big play that time for Tampa Bay. 44 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. And he's got it. And he's brought down. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. Vaughn diving for the end zone, and he'll get there. Touchdown. Everybody in the stadium knew what they were going to do right there, CD. Three tight ends on the field, all that extra bulk, and they run it in. And you saw where that one went, right? You run it over your best blocker. I can just see the head coach right now. I want to run this one over the big boy. And they got it done. The extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. And no return from Montgomery. Bring it out to the 25. The Patriots ready to get the football back. They did what they had to do to start this third quarter. Went down, got the touchdown to cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back where we started at halftime. Yeah, you're exactly right, partner. They had a little bounce in their step after scoring that first touchdown, but the defense gave one up. And that's the problem right now. Can they get better play from their defense while they continue to score on offense? Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Back to throw. 
Jones. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. But plain and simple, that's the second time today that he's dropped a pass. And that one, I think, maybe even a little easier than the earlier one that he dropped. Surprising. Was this game announced as a night game prior to, and maybe his rhythm got is confused. just off? He's got know. thrown off. He's got to wake up, enjoy the sunshine, and go play. Out of the gun now on third down. Juju Smith-Schuster and finally taken down at the 44-yard line. Well, that's one way to convert on third down, picking up 26 yards. And that's patience to be admired right there because he looks left, looks right, and waits for the right guy to come open, spots him in the middle of the field, and delivers. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Off the play fake, Jones. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. Look at this. Middle of the field. A breakaway. And he returns it to the end zone. A fumble recovery touchdown for the box. And give some kudos to the defensive coordinator, I think, here. They bring the blitz, they dial it up, and it turns into six points for them. It's so nice to hear you actually give kudos to the defense. It is so nice. You're such an offensive guy like that. I love it. He dialed things up, and boy, a big play resulted for his guys. Well, you like the credit to the defense there, right, my friend? Yeah, you don't, do I ever. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And the lead is now 24. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And no return from Montgomery. Bring it out to the 25. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand... They've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. And the throw here caught by Devontae Parker. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. Give him 19 there as the drive marches forward. And you start to think if it's going to happen for these guys, it's got to start with this drive. Down three scores, they need to start making some inroads. And that'll help the cause there as they pick up good yardage and a first down. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Tampa. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. And the pass to Henry is intercepted. Picked off by Levante David. And they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49-yard line. First down, here's White. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Now, I think we can get used to seeing more of that in this fourth quarter, especially if they're having success on the ground like they did there. Yeah, I think back when we met with the head coach in, in preseason, and all he talked about was building a bully. And I think it was this situation he was envisioning. Trying to ice a game, plenty of time left, but being able to give the ball to his big runner and pound away and try and finish off a game. They'll wind up losing three, and now it's third down. Well, I would have figured after the nine-yard run on the previous play, getting one more yard wouldn't have been much of a problem. But apparently it was, and now it's third down. And this offense on third down today, no problems to this point. A perfect five for five. This will be third and five. 
Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. So the completion good for just three, and it'll be second down. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. Second and seven operating from the 34. Now a give up the middle. This is White. And he'll get a little over two, maybe a full three down to the 32-yard line. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Well, fourth quarter with a three-score lead here, Charles, but they're still going back to the air and looking for more points. Well, with this game well in hand, it's an opportunity for the guys to come off the bench and get a chance to play. And a lot of coaches, they want to run their full playbook no matter who's on the field. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so, and maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so that you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. After the main field goal, here's McLaughlin back out there to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately... The second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Here's a second and five. Looking to throw. Jones. Open man right side is Smith-Schuster. Complete. Calling a gain of three on the play. And it makes it third down and two yards to go. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. On third and two. Jones and that is incomplete and that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall it's been a blowout that has been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other all right they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down they're going for it Desperation time now. Here's Jones. Now thrown to Parker, complete on the slant. And he is going to pick up a Patriots first down, and he'll get it by plenty. A gain of eight on fourth and one. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. He stopped to get it done, as you noted, and they did. 
Now this one complete downfield on the left side and out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. And with this game well in hand, perhaps we are seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for a first down. Well, we certainly know the coach isn't happy along the sideline because he certainly wants them to finish this one out the way they started it. He doesn't want to give up any soft completions, no late points. He wants his lead to stay right where it is. The first down screen pass, good for five. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Throwing Jones. Out route, and this is Henry with a catch. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Seven catches for him now in this last one, a first down. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. Now Jones. And he gets this to Thornton. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. The end result, 21 yards. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there, it's going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. Back to throw again. Touchdown, Patriots! Tyquan Thornton, a five-yard touchdown. And the Patriots get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth-quarter deficit. He's got them out now to a three-score lead here in the fourth quarter after that one, C.D., and well, he looked right off the line like he knew that that ball was coming his way, and he secured it for six points. Yeah, and I think when you're leading by a healthy margin already, it actually loosens you up and allows you to take maybe a few more chances and definitely play with more confidence because he certainly saw something he could exploit in the defense, and he made sure to let his quarterback know, just get it to me. And the rest was all up to him, and he delivered and made it a three-score game. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. And the Buccaneers able to recover. Their hands team does its job. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% <laughs> of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. They go with White on the counter. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. On third down, a run from White. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. 
104 yards rushing for him now as he's done it on 19 carries. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. They stay on the ground with White. And a hard working run here as he's got it inside the 20, down to the 17. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. So fire the cannons. It's a victory here for Tampa Bay. And we talk so much about the turnover battle, determining who wins, who loses. This game, no exception. Air-free football, no turnovers at all, and they win it. So this is one you don't have to convince your team that what you're saying is accurate. And you know what I'm talking about. Head coach always stands up in front of the team and says, guys, if we do this, this, and this, we'll win.